Hello guys, I'm um, going to be showing you how to use get set variable. Uh, get set variable is actually a command that I've had some trouble with myself, so I'm pleased to be able to explain it to other people that might have the same troubles. Uh, if you can hear a jet in the background, just excuse that, that's just the RAF being obnoxious twats flying over my house. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I'm going to show you the setup we have here. When I call my radio, it will spawn a unit in my squad. And when this unit is killed, I will get my variable. So, I feel bad doing this, but goodbye friend. And our variable there is 1.5118. Now that's a random number between 1 and 5. So, let's have a look. So we've got our trigger, this calls our spawn unit script and we've got a simple argument with a marker name and our marker is next to us so we don't have to run far to kill him and in our spawn unit script we have our marker argument this simply relates to where our unit is spawned and our unit's name is spawned AI so in this spawned AI we're going to put a random number. So to do this, simply take the object name that you want to put the variable in, type set variable, square brackets, set a ID name of like what you want your variable to be called. In this case we're putting a random number inside it so it'll make sense to call it random number Note this isn't actually the variable, this is the ID which we'll use to get the variable later, we'll come to that in a bit. And next we put in our random number. So we'll get rid of that now. So all we have is in our unit we've set a variable of a random number. And then we're calling our function which has our unit passed in an argument and you'll see how set variable can be used usefully here. So in our function our unit in here is called squadmate. Note that he's the same person in here and in here because he has been passed through the argument and as you can see this select zero equals that and that equals that. So when he is killed, our squad mate is now called, we will get our random variable through simple way of get our variable. You can call this variable anything equals the name of the unit we're wanting to get our variable from so squadmate when we type get variable this is a command and now we go back to the ID I was on about earlier so our ID is random number so we go just copy that and we want to get that ID and stick it in here and then we can get rid of that and then with our get variable we want to display it in a hint format so we so we can see what's going on and simply save so I hope this makes sense you have to have an understanding of how arguments work really I've got another video on that if you so if you don't know watch just watch that so we're going to call our script which will spawn our unit and put our random number inside him. Then we'll call the other my function automatically and after he's killed it will display the random number which we put inside him. Okay, we've actually got a um, error there. So I believe that is Really, because I completely messed up 
Um, fuck. Oh no. no. Just me being in retard. Okay, that's because I probably used a bad variable name. I'm just going to call this GSR. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And stick that in there. So I think that's because I used a local variable um, uh, called get variable, which isn't very clever. So let's see if it's fixed it. No. Undefined variable. Oh. This is very odd. Um. Oh. My god. It's because I forgot to save it. So, there you go. Remember to save your <laughs> scripts before attempting to use them, or you might end up going backwards. So now when we kill him, we'll get our random number. So, yeah, I hope this makes sense. Um, let me show you another example. Let's just get rid of all this. And we'll just go get rid of the argument in here, because it's no longer relevant. And this is just to fortify how the get variable works. So we're going to make a unit, which is me, player. So I'm going to give me a name. So I'm going to call myself this is Sparta. Oh, it's in invalid. It's because I used spaces. Don't use spaces in your variable names. So, this Sparta is my unit's name. And in here, unit equals player. So we're gonna give our, our unit a name, a variable. Unit set variable my name, so that's the ID and my name is name unit and we're going to pass our unit into my function and this will work exactly the same way so we don't want to wait until I'm dead because then I won't be able to see the <laughs> hint. Instead, we're just gonna give a sleep of five seconds, and my vari variable ID was my name. So this is basically me, and get variable my name. So. Now, after five or so seconds, it should come up with this is Sparta in the top right hand corner. Alright, well, it's actually come up with my actual name, Bangabob, and that's because I used a name command. You can easily change that by just get rid of that, press save, and we start. fast forward a bit. This Sparta. There we go. So, I hope this makes sense. This is how to use set variable. It can be fairly complicated if you don't understand the terminology and the how arguments work with scripts. But this is how you will use your get set variables in scripting. Basically using local variable names to pass global variables. But anyway, I'm confusing myself now. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, hope you find this useful, and I'll see you next time.